guys. Yes, indeed it is. We are just about ready to get out of here. Oh yeah, we just finished walking around the truck there and did a pre-trip there and <laughs> almost got scared there by a black dude. He come walking right between my trailer here. <laughs> he didn't make a noise already trying to let me know that he's coming through, right? He didn't want to scare me too much, but he still scared me a little bit, but that was funny. But yeah, he was just walking back to his truck. I guess he had gone in and got a few things or whatever. And So yeah, oh. <laughs> That woke me right up, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, just walking around there, you know, and got my flashlight there and shining it at everything there, looking underneath and making sure everything is looking good, right? So, like we're supposed to do our pre-trip, right? So, I always try and walk around if it's dark like it is right now, out there. And then uh, I like to, you know, grab my flashlight and do a little walk around, make sure everything is good, you know? So, uh, anyways, we're out of here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. So that's coming right along with the Trucker Rudy Show. Would you? It has finally been daylight now. We've been going now for about three hours already and we finally have daylight I mean it's been daylight now for a little bit but uh, but yeah we've been cruising since 5 15 this morning already and it is uh, 8 uh, 26 right now so yeah we've been cruising her for a little bit but hey I think we're gonna make us a pit stop here pretty soon I think we're by exit 240 up here on the 65. There's a flying J truck stop over there. I think we're gonna roll her in over there and probably go in there and have me a bite to eat, have me breakfast and all that stuff. Have me my half an hour break off and then we're good to go. I already looked it up and it looks like we can make it to Wilson, Wisconsin tonight. I'll put us right around the ten and a half hour mark, maybe ten and three quarters. What the police officers and truck drivers have in common? All right, we got the CB radio screaming. Somebody getting on the radio. Something about some kind of police Anybody officer. Know the that? <laughs> but anyways, uh, so yeah. Don't turn that off. So that way I can make my conversation. But anyways, we'll go in there and make our pit stop and have our half an hour break there. And that way it will be a little bit quieter in Chicago, I think, by the time we get through Chicago. And it'll probably be probably quarter to 10, 10 o'clock by the time we roll in over there. So that should be a lot quieter than when we roll through Chicago. We don't have to worry about rush hour and all that good stuff, so at least unless there is a big accident, right? But other than that, yeah, we'll continue on cruising along here and make our day today, that's for sure. Still nice and green up here, that field up there. Look at that, beautiful green up there. But when we get home, it's going to be colder and all that stuff, so... But it's supposed to be a nice week though this week uh, as far as I understand. We did however get a little bit of a rain drizzle shower or whatever here to, in the last two hours since we've been going. It has currently stopped right now but the road is still a little bit wet. But other than that, yeah. Should get sunshine here later on today. From what I've been told it's supposed to be nice further west so probably only be cloudy here probably another hour hour and a half and then we'll probably be out of that that's the plan right we'll see if our plan will pan out <laughs> all right guys here we are now through Chicago actually we are all the way through it already and traffic was good today no complaints whatsoever we're just cruising right on through here yeah 
just having a good old time and what did I tell you guys earlier we were going to see some sunshine that's exactly what I'm looking at right now yes indeed I am I'm just really happy that it is sunshine that means my truck will stay a little bit cleaner although it's probably gotten a little bit, little bit dirty from all the uh, rain that we had there in Indianapolis I mean it wasn't really raining too hard over there but it was just like a fine mist and it just makes the road wet and to get all the slush I guess from the road on the truck but other than that no big deal right but yeah we're just cruising right on through here now and it's a beautiful day to be out here that's for sure and the good thing is we're going home right that's always a bonus. <laughs> yeah. I'm having fun. No, that truck doesn't have no mud flaps on this uh, tractor there. That's not good. You are required to have mud flaps there, buddy. Probably somebody out there saying, oh, don't make the truckers look bad. You know, they're already looked that bad enough. Well, if you're the one doing that, then I got no other choice but to point it out. That's the way it is. Yes, indeed. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising here. And see what the rest of the day will bring us, right? Yeah, guys, we are still giving her. That's correct. We are in Mauston, Wisconsin as of right now. And up here is a quick trip truck stop up on to the left up here. And if you look hard, you might be able to see what it is. It's actually a semi-truck on a big pole over there. I don't think it's a real semi-truck, but uh, then again, what do I know, right? But yeah, looks like we got somebody broke down over here or something, so... Uh-oh, brand new trucks and they're already broke down. Can you believe that? Yeah, that's all them afterburner stuff probably giving them shit. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I can't say that, right? I don't know what's really going on, but I'm just assuming, right? Because he's got the hood open and everything, and obviously some kind of problem with the truck. But yeah, we are just giving her today. That is a fact. We've only made one pit stop there to have breakfast, and that was it. After that, we've just been giving her. But I think here in a little bit, I'll probably make me a little bit of a pit stop and have to use the rooms, you know, man's room. Oh, that's a nice looking truck there. Yeah, they got a nice paint job on it too. I like that purple color there like that. That's nice. A lot of chicken lights on there. That must look really nice at night, that's for sure. But yeah, so that's what we'll probably do. And a little bit here will probably make us a quick pit stop and we only got 141 miles to go to uh, Wilson, Wisconsin so that's a little over two hours so uh, yeah then we will be done for today that is for sure but the nice sunshine is giving us an enjoyment of the day today like I said yesterday supposed to be nice going further west so and I guess they were right this time it's beautiful over here we got 18 degrees and nice and sunshine I enjoy it very much so actually all our border crossing has been set up so we can just get right to the border tomorrow we don't have to worry about is our border crossing been set up or not and all that stuff right that is nice but anyways i'm just going to continue on cruising along and see what happens for the rest of the day Alrighty, guys we got a chicken house up here and they are open today so uh this truck ahead of me there, he was really in a hurry there it seemed like and he was just hammering down there passing me there before I even got onto the ramp there and he just giving her there so he... <laughs> I don't know, he went right 
right in front of me there into the uh, scale here, but oh well, I guess he just figured he could do it. But well, looks like he's busy right Continue now. He's got road. a truck For in the back miles. there. Way station ahead. I know, RJ, there is a way station ahead, but yeah, we only got about 20 more miles to go and then we'll be done for today. Yes, indeed. I'll be in Wilson, Wisconsin in about 20 miles. So I'll have about 620 miles in it looks like, or 618 miles maybe, for today. So that's a good day worth the driving, I would say. So let's make our way over there and then we'll call it a day. All right, guys, we are here at the Wilson Quick Trip Truck Stop. Yes, indeed we are. Uh-huh. So, <clears throat> we got a special request today. Yes, indeed we did. That special request is for a happy birthday wish to Ike Reddy's dad by name of Spikey Reddy. Yes sir, Bob indeed. So, if everybody would say happy birthday to Spikey Reddy in the comments below, that would be fantastic. I would appreciate that and I'm sure he would too. Yes sir, so we wish you a very happy birthday. I hope you have many more to come. I know a while back ago you were sick and I hope your health has improved and uh, we would like to see you around for many more years to come. So with that being said, we're getting ready to go to bed here pretty soon. I know the sun over there is starting to go down a little bit, but uh, we've been here now for a little bit. I went inside and had me a bite to eat and all that good stuff. So now we're ready to go to bed, which I know is a terrible idea just eating and then going to bed. but. I was hungry so and I didn't go and eat a bunch of junk food I went and had me some fish and some corn with that so and we had a glass of water and a coffee like no coffee probably ain't the best eater to go to bed but hey that's what it was tonight so <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching today's vlog and stick around for tomorrow because we got another one coming that's right so don't go nowhere this has been Trucker Rudy, signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.